This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we round up all the rumors in the world of technology for the week. Up this week, we got rumors swirling of a brand new 5-inch flagship HTC phone making its way to Verizon. Rumors swirling that Apple is no longer buying their panels from Samsung, or Samsung is no longer selling Apple their panels. The iPod Touch could be approaching its end of life, and... Steve Ballmer's interested in Microsoft making more of their own hardware. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. Have you guys seen the HTC Mate J Butterfly? It is an awesome phone, the 1080p display. That's only coming out in Asia. Us here in North America have been drooling over the super phone. But it looks like we're not going to be drooling much longer. Supposedly it's going to be coming to Verizon under the HTC DLX or Deluxe, depending on what they want to call it. This phone is packing everything that you could want, including a 1080p HD camera, although it could be a 12 megapixel shooter as well, quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, Beats Audio, and Android Central first reported this as saying that it could come with Jelly Bean on board. So booyah. Also, we've been hearing rumors as well about and perhaps HTC made Nexus 5, and maybe this will be what the Nexus 5 might be. Fingers crossed, the 1080p screen and all those specs sound juicy and delicious. Like if a phone could be a burger, it'd just be like, ow. So Samsung and Apple are frenemies. Uh, they sued each other, they hate each other, but they still did business with each other. Apple was still buying panels from Samsung. Samsung was still making some components in the iPhone. But that frenemies appeared to be going more towards the enemies than the friends part of it. Rumors are swirling that Samsung will no longer be selling Apple screens, which is unfortunate because Samsung makes pretty awesome screens. Supposedly their supply chain surplus is going to be going to Amazon. Apple now is buying their screens from LG and other OEMs over in China and other Asian countries. So Samsung and Apple, no more money changing hands. They have officially broken up. They are over their relationship, so 2010. So the Microsoft Surface is a welcome back to Microsoft making their own hardware. Forget about the Zune. And Steve Ballmer said to the BBC that they are very interested in making more hardware in the future. So the Surface comes in two varieties. We got the RT version out now and the Pro coming sometime in the near future. But there've also been rumors that Microsoft really wants to make their own flagship phone, running of course Windows Phone 8, which could put a giant wrench in the relationship with Nokia and of course HTC, Samsung, LG, Huawei, and other partners that make Windows Phone 8 devices. Uh, of course, Nokia is very heavily leveraged at Windows Phone 8. Their success really depends on the platform taking off. If Microsoft decides to say, eh, well, we're just gonna make our own phone, uh, people would certainly be deciding which phone to buy and the Microsoft one might be more appealing. Perhaps they would have bought a Lumia 920 or other Nokia device. So if I were Nokia, I'll be pretty pissed. Uh, if these rumors tend to be true, we might be hearing rumors in a couple weeks of Nokia Microsoft now being frenemies. That's my word of the day. Word of the day is frenemies, brought to you by the letter J. And if Microsoft does make their own laptop or desktop, of course, it's gonna be running Windows, and you're gonna to wanna to back up that computer. Whether or not you run a Windows or Mac, you wanna make sure you've got plenty of backups, and the folks at Carbonite have you covered. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic cloud backup for the computer files at your home, office, or small business. Just set it up once, and Carbonite will protect your computer files so that you can stay focused on running your own business. No hardware required. But with Carbonite, getting back lost files is super easy. Your employees can even access their backup files on their smartphone or iPad with a free Carbonite app. Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home, office, or small business. Start your free trial today. Go to Carbonite.com, enter offer code TECHNO, and you'll get two free months. So go to Carbonite.com, enter offer code TECHNO, and you get two free months, which is two free months of security and peace of mind. You're not going to lose your precious files. Check them out. The next rumor is a juicy, juicy one. Uh, we are hearing reports that perhaps the iPod Touch is approaching its end of life. And I know what you're saying, John. You cray cray. It just got updated. It's got colors and a strap and a higher screen and it's bigger and retina and colors. But it appears that the iPod Touch line might not be long for this world. Analyst Ming Chi Ko of KGI Security said the iPod Touch has entered the final stage of its production cycle. Ho states that the $299 price is very little room to compete or complement other Apple products and eventually will have little resources devoted to future releases. If you think about it, at the price point that it's at and the iPad Mini now at $329, 
I'm guessing that Apple couldn't release a lower price iPad mini because it would certainly jump all over the sales of the iPod Touch, take out the iPod Touch line. Suddenly you can have an eight gigabyte iPad mini coming in at maybe that 299 sweet spot price point or perhaps even lower prices. So what do you think? Is the iPod Touch approaching its end of life cycle? I'm inclined to believe that it probably is. It's a product that maybe doesn't have a place uh, anymore. Given the choice and similar price of buying an iPod Touch or an iPad mini, uh, certainly that decision would be pretty clear. But maybe choice is better. Maybe Apple's gonna say, no, nope, we're gonna keep them all going and give the consumers any option uh, that they want. They can come to our stores and get any size that's interesting to them. Thank you guys for watching me try and get through another episode of Rumor Roundup. Be sure to check us out every week for brand new fancy schmancy episodes. And of course, go to technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news, rumors, reports, awful jokes, and this guy. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.